Monsters is currently in its 17th season and it continues to be one of the most popular reality TV series ever, while fellow pawning reality series Hardcore Pawn was cancelled 5 years ago. Since they were each other's biggest rivals, Pawn Stars Rick Harrison and Hardcore Pawn's Les Gold didn't exactly become friends and in today's video we are going to take a look at 10 reasons why Les Gold hates Rick Harrison. As you might know, Rick is the co-owner of the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop in Las Vegas and he spent years pitching his idea of a reality show about his pawn shop to television networks until it was eventually picked up by History Channel and thus Pawn Stars was born. The show chronicles the daily activities at the Harrison's Las Vegas based Gold and Silver Pawn Shop and quickly became the network's biggest money maker. Just about a year after the show first aired, another network True TV decided to add a new reality TV show to their program program in August of 2010, called Hardcore Pawn. Their show followed the daily goings on at Les Gold's pawn shop American Jewelry and Loan in Detroit, Michigan, and it didn't take very long until people accused True TV of copying the idea. But while Pawn Stars is still going strong, production on True TV's once most watched series was ceased in 2014, after 9 seasons, as the network wanted to go into a new direction and no other network wanted to pick up the show, much to the dismay of the cast. Obviously no one would be happy to have their show cancelled while your biggest rivals continue to produce their show and being the sore loser of the competition, Les Gold started resenting Rick Harrison for his success. Pretty much since the night it premiered, Hardcore Pawn has been compared to Pawn Stars, but there are actually a few differences, as the Detroit based show focuses mainly on the human aspects of the pawning business rather than the actual significance of the items being brought into the shop. Les Gold described it as being an authentic representation of the daily activities at a pawn shop, and the fact that a lot of people go through hard times having to sell or pawn things because they need money for basic necessities like food and rent. He quickly got sick and tired of being judged in comparison to Rick Harrison and his show because he was convinced that his show was just more realistic and therefore much better than Pawn Stars. Despite critics accusing Hardcore Pawn of being a hardcore ripoff of Pawn Stars, the entire time the show ran, you can't deny the fact that there are some striking differences. One of the most obvious examples is the tone of True TV's show, as Les Gold and his kids and staff members are a lot more controversial and slightly more sensationalist. It seems like their show is more about all the drama between staff members and customers, whereas Pawn Stars focuses more on the historical items that are brought into the shop, as well as their background story. While many of the show's differences are due to the different personalities of their cast members, Les Gold also pointed out that Rick trying to educate his customers for the sake of entertaining viewers was far from being a realistic representation of the pawnbroker's profession, which Les doesn't appreciate. While the guys on Pawn Stars frequently call in their experts, Les Gold always made it clear that he doesn't need any outside experts. According to him, he has employees doing research on certain items online, including his son Seth, so he won't have to ask anyone else for help. But what Les was trying to point out as a flaw in Pawn Stars is actually one of the things that make Rick's show so popular. As the viewers love hearing about the history of certain items and how they're used, and Les surely hates the fact that Rick won this round as well. As we just mentioned, the two shows focus on different aspects of the goings on in a pawn shop, but the two shop owners also take in very different items. While Pawn Stars usually features historical items, war memorabilia, or autographed pop culture items, Hardcore Pawn features a much wider range of items brought in for pawn or sale, such as artificial limbs and live animals, or even gold teeth still attached to their owner. In one episode, Les Gold also bought a used and oddly shaped gynecologist examination table for $50 and then turned around and sold it a few minutes later for $500. True TV's show certainly offers an edgier and grittier view on pawn shop life than the History Channel's hit show does, which is meant to be more educational. However, according to Les Gold, this educational angle of Pawn Stars is exactly what proves that Pawn Stars is staged. 
Les Gold has always stressed that everything viewers see on Hardcore Pawn depicts reality, and when the show first aired, the Detroit shop owner even made a quite obvious sideswipe at the Pawn Stars cast when he said that there wouldn't be any antics, product placements, or characters on his show. Les and his daughter Ashley even made a video addressing the rumors of the show being staged directly, where they said, Our show gets filmed at American Jewelry and Loan when we are open from 9.30 to 6, six days a week. We are 100% real. We work at the store. We are real. We are real people. We're not actors. Yet it became quite obvious to viewers that although the show claims to represent the true reality of the pawning business, as opposed to rival show Pawn Stars, there is a clear pattern in the show's episodes as well. For example, there are always moments when Les, who normally doesn't work the counters, is there when someone brings in an unusual item to sell or pawn. There are always two customers with disorderly behavior being thrown out, one seen at the parking lot with someone bringing a car or truck for sale, and usually some argument between Ashley and Seth. So the show hardly shows everyday life at the Gold's Pawn Shop, and viewers obviously notice that. In this respect, Hardcore Pawn wasn't really that different from the show it was rumored to be modeled after. While Pawn Stars was turned into a 60 minute show recently, one episode was originally 30 minutes long and True TV decided to go with the same time frame for Hardcore Pawn. Their show premiered on August 16th, 2010 to one of the network's biggest audiences ever, but because its premiere came a year after Pawn Stars' first ever episode aired, there was a lot of speculation about the show being a copycat and the fact that the initial time slot of Monday nights at 10pm Eastern was identical to that of Pawn Stars didn't help the brooding feud between the shows either. It seemed like True TV tried to avoid further problems, as Hardcore Pawn's second season then debuted in December 2010 in the Tuesday at 9pm Eastern time slot. However, the comparison of the shows and its stars didn't stop after that, and Les Gold, patriarch of the True TV Pawn show, got pretty tired of being called a ripoff. While Pawn star Rick never commented on the issue, Les repeatedly felt the need to point out that his show was very different, and he obviously didn't like the fact that his success was constantly downplayed and that he was basically accused of copying Rick and his show. During the entire four years that Hardcore Pawn aired, it could never shake the reputation of being a copycat show of Pawn Stars, and even though True TV's Mark Torres claimed that any similarities between the two shows were entirely coincidental, it was undeniable that at least the underlying idea of showing day-to-day -day life at a well-known family-owned pawn shop in a seedy neighborhood of a big city was copied from History Channel's hit show, as well as the show title's obvious allusion to the adult film industry. Despite the Evidence, Les Gold never got tired of claiming his show was the real deal, but he did get tired of being called a ripoff. So much so that he eventually not only despised being compared to the rival show, but started hating its cast, with Rick Harrison, the creator of Pawn Stars, leading the way. While we see some back and forth banter between the cast members on Pawn Stars, the stars of Hardcore Pawn took this to the next level. They liked to take off their shirts, pull hair, and didn't shy away from kicking, biting, and swearing either. Some have even called their pawn shop the Jerry Springer of reality TV, as the dysfunctional family displayed their flaws on national TV just for the sake of some cash. This may have worked out for a few years, but people certainly got tired of the golds in their shtick, and since the show couldn't even come close to being as popular as Pawn Stars, True TV eventually decided to pull the plug on the show and go into a different direction. While Les Gold had never been very fond of History Channel's hit show and its stars, the fact that they managed to stay on TV for so much longer while his own show was cancelled after just four years surely evoked some feelings of jealousy in Les and made him resent Rick and the other guys even more. As we just mentioned, Les was never a fan of the Harrisons, but it started long before his show was cancelled. Even during the show's successful years, the Detroit-based pawn shop owner disliked his fellow pawnbrokers from Las Vegas. When a radio host asked Les if he had any relationship with the cast of Pawn Stars in 2012, he first mentioned the feud between the families. Gold said that he had tried to visit them during a trip to Las Vegas, but was given the cold shoulder. He then took a nasty dig at the physical appearance of the Harrisons, who were all famously overweight, saying, We went there once, called them saying that we were coming, and they never waited for us. He added that he thought they were scared of the golds because we're better than they are and more fit. 